But if you want to have more, you can set it here, not to list. So let's say new, not name. Let's say T not quarter of one inch length inside the width. I'm not sure if you need that, but I'm just showing you the examples. If you create your own notch, if you click OK, then you select the point, go to treatment, notch list, you have your own customized notch, T notch, and you can make that. Hi, my name is Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. Today, we're diving into a tutorial on pad system. There are a lot of software options out there for pattern making and marker making. And pad system is pretty popular in North America. Regardless of the program you use, all files can be exchanged in DXF format. So it doesn't really matter what program you are using. If you are running your own business, you can choose whichever software you like the best. But if you work for a company, it's a good idea to learn a few different software programs since each place might use a different one. The PET system is pretty easy to pick up, especially if you're new to digital pattern making. So today, I'll walk you through the option menu in the PET pattern design program. Let's get started. This is pad pattern design surface. It can be a little bit different depending on the version or for window users and Mac users. But basically, the functions are all the same. So today, we are going to take a look at the menu options. If you click the menu option, there are some lists you can customize for your work environment. Let's start with snap to grid. Now this function is not activate. If you use arrow keys on your keyboard, for example, you select a point, you can move this point with the arrow keys on your keyboard. You can move this point up or down or move to the right or move to the left. But when you press the arrow key once, you don't know how much exactly the point is moving. So for this, you have this menu, Snap to Grid. But before you activate this menu, you need to set up how much you want to move the point or segment. So let's go to Preference. If you're using a window version, the Preference menu is under Options. So go to Preference, click Display, and there is snipping section. Grid resolution, you have a lot of options. So you can pick whatever you want. If I pick one quarter means when you press arrow once, the point or segment you selected will move quarter of an inch because your unit is inches. If your unit is centimeter, it means quarter of centimeter. So it's 0 0.25 centimeter. So for me, this is quarter and inches. If I say OK and go to option and activate this snap to grid, and you see it is activated, then you select the point. When you press the arrow key once, it moves exactly one quarter of an inch. If your unit is centimeter, it will move 0.25 centimeters. Of course, you can move whole pattern pieces as well. Press the arrow once, quarter of an inch moving. Hey friend, we'll get back to the episode real quick. If you're enjoying this video, I just want you to know I made pad system hotkey list. Using shortcuts while you're working with pad will improve your work speed and efficiency. Head over to my website, patternstudio101.com and download my pad system hotkey list. It's free. Piece name list. Before I show you how to set up piece name list, let's see an example. So if you have these patterns, this piece 
The name of this piece will be front. If you see piece info, control D, there is a section for piece name. If you haven't set up the piece name under the menu option, when you click this little triangle, you won't see any of them. And you don't have to set up the piece list. You can just type here whatever the way you want. So front body, if you want, or FRT, if we want to have a short name. So you can write here every single time when you make patterns. But for your convenience, you can set up the pattern name list. So go to option, piece name list. So I already made some of them, front, back, side body, front facing, back, neck facing. You can click add or insert. If you click add, it's going to be at the end. And type the piece name. For example, top sleeve, enter, add again. Under sleeve. You can move around the order. If you want to have top sleeve at the first, you can move around the order. Or if you select one name and click insert, the new name list will be before you selected one. So let's say color. So if you click OK and select the pattern piece and see piece info, control D. You can pick the piece name, and the order is exactly what you set. So you can pick one. You don't have to type every single time when you make pattern pieces. Okay, next. Option, reference code list. Okay, this is also for piece info. So if you select the piece, there is a reference code with a little triangle. Depending on your work environment, you might need client name or vendor name, or your company has several pattern makers. And when they create the patterns, if they need their signatures, something like any information you need to keep with the pattern pieces. So to set this list, you go option, reference code list. It works exactly the same as piece list you just did. You can add and type whatever you need to see on the piece info. The same, you can move around the order or you can click insert and type whatever you need. Then in the piece info, you can have all the list here. It can be interfacing information or whatever, whatever you need. Okay, next is fabric list. This is also depending on your work environment self or if you want to say i'll shell it's okay you can say i'll shell if you use a lot of different fabrics you might want to make a contrast one two three insert contrast three you might have several different interfacing or several different linings you can add all the name you need and then set the colors you double click the colors and you have a lot of options to change it. So set the colors you want. It's better to have all different colors, right? If you set, you click OK. And let's say your back body, side body, and front body is self fabric. OK. So it is black colors. But you want to make an applet with contrast one. If you click OK, the applet piece has different colors, right? Your pockets and flap, if we want to make this, let's say contrast two, then it is different colors. And for the placket, if these are contrast three, another fabric, then you have all different colors. If you have pattern pieces like this, when you make marker, you will have all separate marker by fabric. Of course, right? You cannot cut the self and contrast in the same marker. You have to cut separately. So the marker making will create the files depending on the fabric list. Okay, next. Notchy list. Before we do that, let's see treatment, notches. So the pad system already has three different types of notches. Simple notch, double notch, V notches. If you use only those three, 
you don't have to worry about not to list. But if you want to have more, you can set it here, not to list. So let's say new, not name. Let's say T not quarter of an inch length inside the width. I'm not sure if you need that, but I'm just showing you the examples. If you create your own notch, if you click OK, then you select the point, go to treatment, notch list, you have your own customized notch, T notch, and you can make that. OK, then punch hole list, same. If you go treatment and punch hole, the pad system has already punch hole shaped like this. This one, right? And this is what I made. So you can go to option punchy hole list. And this is what I created, but you can make one. So let's say new, if you named, let's say patch. Let's see how it works. If I pick this shape, like X and give quarter of an inch and click OK. And for this drill hole, for this point, go treatment, punch hole, if I say this patch, it's going to be like this. So you can have all these different shape of punch holes depending on your work environment. You might need something specific for specific customers or for specific cutting. Okay. The last is text list. Sometimes you need to write something for sores or cutters. For example, let's say this shoulder will be gathered. This is not obviously, but for example, so this, this shoulder length is actually almost six inches, but you're going to gather this and finish the four inches. Then you're going to select this text tool and click the point. And let's say you want to say gather to be five inches. Click OK. Then you have text here. Let's say you have some specific text you use very often. Then go to option, text list, you can create here. Let's say add gathering, for example, and cut sometimes, let's say raw edge. Okay, let's click OK. And then I want to select this line, select the tool, text, Click the point, align text along segment, and I have a big font. And there is text list you just created. So if you click this little triangle, I can just choose one of them. So let's say raw edge. Okay. Of course, you can type every single time. But if you have some text you are using very often, then you might want to put it in the text list and just pick the text. Okay, this is how it works, text list. So the menu option, we went through all of them. Do you know I make PDF written instructions for all my YouTube videos? Go to my website and become a member. Every Wednesday when I post a new video, I send PDF written instructions to your inbox. With time, you can build your own pattern making library. It's amazing. Head over to my website, petconstudio101.com. The link is in the description box. Have an awesome week. See you next time. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? I'll send you Armal Depth Chart. Dart calculator for skirt and pants, how to measure guide, and much more resources as a welcoming gift. And you will get my weekly emails with great tips and techniques about pattern making. Go to my website patternstudio101.com and sign up.